She was gone. C'est la vie. She disappeared. Dirty Gypsy was what they called the music and the music and stuff. He gave me this, her first guitar, and that's when I knew it was over. Gigi's mother, Milka, was an itinerant gypsy musician in Bulgaria. Just as her daughter, Gigi, was born, the communists invaded Bulgaria. In 58, my parents hired an au pair. We welcomed her into our family. It was at the Gaston home that Gigi received her cultural education. Gigi and my older brother, Etienne, fell in love. Etienne worshipped her. All the boys did. She was crazy about music. Gigi begged and begged until Monsieur Gaston bought her her first guitar. Suddenly, this new form of Euro pop music that was really frothy, called Ye Ye, began sweeping the continent. First, when her first 45 sold over two million copies, everything changed. These singers sold millions of records and were on thousands of magazine covers. There was a melancholy about Gigi's music, a beautiful gloom. Gigi releases her first album, it's critically acclaimed, that immediately leads to a performance at Paris's most hallowed concert hall, the Olympia Theater. Racing his way to the performance that night, her lover Etienne is killed on the RN5. Death at that age is incomprehensible. But she was absolutely hounded by the press. Giorgio Fortuna was the Italian Warren Beatty. Mamma! Sì? Un paio di titoli dei film del nonno? Il mio nome è Proiettile? Mille Proiettili? Il duello senza fine? In 1965, when he met Gigi, their love affair started. Apart from the fact that he was already married with a son. All the scandal magazines made sure that they took them both apart. Gigi landed her man and she rushed back into the recording studio and then back out onto the road. Je suis une délicieuse petite vipère. She needed a top-notch producer, a guy of you know, vision, genius, to elevate her music out of the teen ghetto. She needed moi. We recorded three albums together and she became a full born star. It's 1967 and I'm busking in Paris and she asked me to join her band. I had no idea how famous she was. Her, we're playing the biggest concert halls in Europe, in South America. A world tour, just incredible. 100 city, magnifique. We're in London, and in the middle of the show, she just falls to the floor. Gigi and Giorgio's wedding was an absolute paparazzi free-for-all. Madness, chaos, joy, the greatest wedding of its time. She was no longer my friend, Gigi Gaston. The public owned her now. Incredible. Gigi had shot Giorgio. We rushed to the scene, but he was already dead. The story gripped the country. The death, the arrest, the trial. And finally, the amazing verdict, not guilt. But that was Italy. It was a kind of passion. She was just gone. Poof. Nobody's seen her for 30 years. I tracked down every flimsy lead from Monte Carlo to Corsica to Marin County. She's nowhere to be found. Yeah, I found her, son. And if you pay me the $5,500, I'll tell you where he is. 
My mother, she was a singer. Gigi. My father, you know, I never really met him. His movies are... I don't know, I guess it's okay. It was a life. We moved around a lot. I don't really remember so much. So, where is your mother? Is she even alive? Are, are you protecting her? If you're not going to say anything, what is the point of this interview? I mean, did she abandon you too? Where is Gigi? Fini, enculé, hein? Je t'emmerde, toi! You know, music is going to live forever. I mean, I still remember the first song I heard. Dans les bocages, très loin des plages, des enfants jouent. Dans les couloirs de Saint-Vincent, en sanglotant. Le fils, le père.